Hi friends, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We have made it to the very last Sunday of 2023. So here we are. I still have my Bible. I hope you have yours too, where every word is true. And today we get to talk about the very last story in Christmas. And this is how we know that God loved us, loves us. He gave us Jesus. That is how we know that God loves us. And our Bible, Bible verse that we're going to hide in our hearts in December, if you remember it, say it loud and proud. Ready? God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3.16. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So in our Bibles, we're going to turn to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 2, 1 and 2, and then 9 through 11. That's where we can read this true story from our Bible. Our story starts with some men who lived very far away. They were waiting for Jesus to be born because they knew that Jesus was God's son. A lot of times we call them the wise men. God put a big star in the sky, a huge special star in the sky to show the wise men the way to Jesus so that they could celebrate him. Now they lived far, far away, so they had a long way to travel. They probably traveled on camels, and there may have been more than three, but that's, that's our tradition is three. The wise men knew they could follow the star to get to Jesus. Now it was a very long journey, but they finally got there, and the wise men, they were so happy to see Jesus. They brought Jesus gifts. They brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and they worshiped him. Jesus was already a little, a little toddler at the time. It took them a very long time to get there. Not only did they bring him gifts, but they also bowed before him. They wanted to show how special Jesus is. And we know Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. And God loves us so much that God gave us Jesus. Wow. What an amazing story. Can we go through the whole Christmas story? Do you remember it? We'll start with the angel who was sent to tell Mary she would have a baby. And the baby would be named, that's right, Jesus. The baby would be named Jesus. And we know Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Later, Mary and Joseph went to a town called Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable where animals live because there were no rooms anywhere else. And that is where baby Jesus was born, in a stable. Here I have three little pictures for this one. The first people that God told that Jesus was born, they were shepherds. Do you remember? There were shepherds out in the field taking care of their elephants. No, they were taking care of their sheep. And an angel came. Remember? An angel came and told them that Jesus was born and that they would find him lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling cloths. And so they ran, they ran to go find the baby Jesus. Just like the angels, the angels said they would. What a beautiful story. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. So I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas. Not only 
with fun presents and special foods and cookies and, and lights for your tree. But I hope that you know how much Jesus came for you. He loves you and I love you too. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.